Hi, welcome back boys and girls. And we are going to be um, coloring in our mushroom now. I um, went ahead and tried to make it a little darker so that you could see it a little bit better. Um, and I think instead of doing the brown mushroom, I think I'm gonna go ahead and make some red spotted spots on top. I think those are pretty fun. So I'm going to take my red um, colored pencil and come through and I'm gonna do some half a spots on the sides. That always makes it look like the pattern's repeating again and again. And maybe um, some in the front as well. Maybe we'll see the whole one here, maybe another half of one over here like it's going off the page. And then I'm gonna come in through here and I'm actually going to color it in red. So um, we are so lucky to be able to have these watercolor pencils. Um, I've also included um, paints in some of your kits and Sharpies and pencils. So um, we are really fortunate to have these supplies, boys and girls. These are only for art class or for when you're feeling creative. You're always welcome to use them to color in your sketchbook. And please be sure to put them away when you're done and keep them safe. There's not really any replacing them if you miss, if you lose these. Okay, so we've got the red with the spots colored in. Maybe we could even go ahead and add a little bit of shading on our stem. Um, we can see here, it's a tiny bit darker on this side, and that really helps add to the illusion that this is 3D. So um, I was gonna make my mushroom stem white, so what I'll do is I'll just come in with my black colored pencil, which are, oh, these aren't watercolor pencils. Most of them are. I was gonna have it so that it um, turned into a shadow, but since it's not watercolor pencil, I'm just gonna rub it. Now you guys could go ahead and make yours, um, take a brush and turn yours into a little bit of um, shadow on that side, and that would be really unique looking. Um, you could go ahead and color in the earth. Often mushrooms are growing out in um, moist and wooded areas. So you might find them um, hidden more into the dirt and forests. There's a lot of mushrooms that grow on this island. Some people even grow mushrooms on this island and sell them to eat. And that's basically it. Okay, good luck. Take a picture, show me your work.